our esteemed viewers, welcome once again to Ranaz TV. I'm your host Francis. In today's program, we've hosted you a very prominent lady, entrepreneur and analyst. You're welcome, madam. Thank you. Greet our viewers. Yes. I'm intrigued to be hosted. I'm your host, Mrs. Zarango, a political analyst, an entrepreneur, an adequate, affiliated, affiliable, as a book lady in the country. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you say about the political situation in India? Yes, I'm here to talk about the political situation because I'm, I'm, I'm a political analyst. But that, what I can say about the political, the current situation as per now, as we speak, the current situation in Uganda is yes, in a state of Makakabas. So, Pedion, very astimathas, fistologists, and Wiskabara. We can't live in such a country whereby everyone is in a state of equire. Meaning? Meaning? We, we are in a situation whereby the, the government is putting us at a, at a very hard effort cast. <laughs> and we will not accept that. Okay, okay. All the politicians are quiet. Madam Zaro. And we. And we, that is, now we are out to speak on the situation. Madam Zara, now I see where you're heading. And yes. it's my second question. Uh, do we still need the opposition in Uganda? Afabaka. The opposition leaders in Uganda are all dead. They are just playing games. What we need as per now in Uganda, we need to get all the opposition leaders. Absolute them, observe them, and then put them in the in a, a very frequent audience corner where they can be there and eat their termites alone. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Madam, I can, Madam Zara. Are you lost? Madam, yes, sir. You know, journalists, you need to get a state of affair. You need to be in, you need to be with adequate minds. Madam Zara, you know our viewers, some of them know English and some of them are illiterate. So Take them leave the country and go away. Because we're not going to be here and soften the language. Oh, does I was proposing that at least you use English and Luganda. I don't understand Luganda. I don't understand Luganda. I paid my school fees. I paid my money. I paid my my tuition. I went to different countries of the world. I went to USA. I went to UK. I went to France. I went to Asia. I, every every in the continent. Wherever I got all the affiliated articles in Shirokaba, affiliation vocabularies, and I'm here to tell you that this Uganda we are living in, we are all affiliation. And we need to get where, we need to get anywhere we can go to be African easier. You understand? Opposition man, you understand? Man, you are not going to be opposition. You are not going to be in opposition. You are not going to be in opposition. You are not going to be in opposition. You said that you don't know Uganda. Yes, I don't understand Uganda. Because I told you, I went to UK, I went to France, I went to America. Whereby, as by now, yeah, but do you know that you, you've been using Luganda? It's called a debate. 
Dachika ziweze sana. Can you get them? Of course. Now that's your problem. You don't understand French vocabularies. That was French. 